Uh, what's up YouTube, Dale here from Zephyr War Games, bringing you a uh, Fire Fist deck profile. Uh, I played this at our new locals this weekend and went 5 0. Uh, I faced a random build deck, uh, a synchro deck, um, what's the face? Burning Abyss deck, Despot deck, and Madolches. So if you can't tell, our locals is kind of uh, more of a fun based build, which is why you'll see few Pepe's and, um, well, Draco Pals, Cosmos and stuff like that, uh, and you'll hear more random deck builds, uh, but it's just for a bit of fun. So I'm bringing you this deck that I went 5-0 uh, with. So we start off with three red resonators. Uh, so these are pretty good to get into uh, level 6 synchros. Uh, it brings you out your, all level 5s that aren't beast warriors, so your Shambaras, your Goyo Guardians, and also if you bring this guy back with uh, Call of the Haunted or anything like that, uh, you get to target a monster on the field and gain their attacker's life points. Uh, free Brotherhood of Fire Fist Spirit, uh, this is probably your best level 3, you get this guy out, special summons a level 3 from the graveyard, and you get to instantly sync or overlay for... Horse Prince or Leo. So, a very important card to have. Uh, two Fire Prince Leopard. Uh, now, basically, the common play that you would make is you would bring Leopard out, hopefully, either having a Tenki or a Tensu uh, in your hand. Bring Leopard out, just, uh, use Leopard's effect to send it to the graveyard and set, then activate whatever one you're missing, either a Tensu or a Tenki. Um, and then you bring out Spirit. Spirit brings back Leopard. Usually you would sink it into Horse Prince. Horse Prince effect goes off and searches you out a Rooster. Uh, and then Rooster would then add a Spirit to hand. And so it's being a Rooster, we run two of her. Uh, and we won one Hawk. Now Hawk gives an extra 500 boost when there's a face up fire formation spell on the field. Uh, which he, he's really good when you just need to beat over that stronger monster. So that's why I've got one of him in. Uh, free Coach Soldier Wolfbark. Again, in this build with your Resonators, you need the three of him really. I mean, for example, you could bread Resonator and bring this guy out. And if there's a level 4 in your graveyard, you activate his effect, bring the level 4 back. That's an instant sync for a Leo. It's a level 10 Leo. Uh, so yeah, he's he's quite pivotal to this kind of this build. Uh, free bear, again, uh, very pivotal. Just the ability to pop a, a tensu or a tenki and then pop one of your opponents was is pretty good as well. Uh, and then two gorilla, uh, it does the same as bear, but instead of uh, one of the, your opponents monsters, it pops one of the back row. So he's quite a nice little MST. So that's it for the monster build there. Uh, onto the spells, so we've run free Tensu. I mean, you can run this at two, but I quite like it at three. Through testing, I used to find that two just wasn't enough, and it also makes me feel a bit better when I pop one of these for either Gorilla or Bear's effect, or even bounce it with uh, Vulcan. Free Tenki because you always need that search, regardless, uh, just to get the right monster in your hand that you need. Now, this one, not many people play, but I kind of like it. Uh, two Fire Formation. Goyuku, now, oh, sorry guys, basically when you activate this card, you lock one of your opponent's back row. Um, sometimes this has been quite good, because I've locked like a breakthrough skill, or uh, a summon warning just before I make the summon to, make, to let my plays go off. So, throughout testing, I kind of like locking my opponent's back row rather than um, destroying it. And obviously when you activate this on it, they can't activate in response. So if you lock a set Twin Twister, then you're doing okay. It means you've you've locked one of their back rows that isn't going to be very useful to them. Uh, and you've kind of secured your own. Plus it gives 100 boost to any of your monsters. Uh, and then as soon as you pop their back row, so I do run a Twin Twister in this one, or Gorilla, as soon as you pop their back row, you can then pop this with Gorilla or Bear's Effect or bounce it with Vulcan. Uh, the one rekindling, this was really, really helpful because uh, obviously your targets can be your red resonators, 
your spirit and your leopard. I think it can also be rooster, can't it? No, it can't be rooster. So it has to be 200 defense. So straight away you've got your spirit, your leopard and your red resonator as your targets for rekindling. So it's a must have card in this deck. I only picked it up and put it in recently. So that's how helpful I found that. Uh, one Twin Twister. I mean, obviously it's down to you whether you prefer to lock back row or pop back row. Uh, this can also be an MST. But I kind of like the lock in the back row better. And then Twin Twister was there just in case I wanted to pop scales or anything like that. Uh, the one Regeki and the one Resonator call just to find your res Resonator. Uh, sorry, I have to keep doing this. Uh, I did run it at... I tried it at 2 and I tried it at 3 and it just got way too cloggy. Uh, if you find that you're you're running into your resonators too much, then yeah, by all means, drop this card. Uh, another option is uh, Supply Squad, just to give you that extra draw. I know it's not really a main deck card, but just to get that extra draw out. Um, I mean, straight away, if you draw into a red resonator from um, Supply Squad, and then your next turn you draw into any of your monsters, straight away you get the uh, the drop. And then obviously if you draw into your coach bark, uh, your wolf salt, uh, wolf bark, you can bring back your level 4s for an instant XYZ. So yeah, that's it for the spells there. This is a 41 card deck build. So, uh, 2 Quake and Mirror Force. If you've watched many of my deck profiles, you'll find that this card is near enough. 9 times out of 10, always in my deck. I love this card. It's such an overpowered back row card, um, it's unreal. I mean, it only gets a bit better when the trap comes out for the TCG in um, Dark Illusion, the one that is basically a Quaking Mirror Force, but a trap hole when your monster is summoned. It flip face down in defense position, it can't change its battle position. Um, so I'll probably try and find a way of putting some of those in in the future. But for now, Quaking is awesome. There is Rippling Mirror Force, or Drowning Mirror Force, how it's now been called, which I think is a terrible name. They did it with Strike and uh, Solemn Strike, where it was named Solemn Notice, which I thought was a better name. But um, I haven't been able to try out Drowning Mirror Force yet, because obviously it's not released until the weekend, or you can't get any sneak peek to the weekend. But I don't know whether or not it's a good, good play or not. I mean, the idea of Quaking Mirror Force is you can use it with a full board and your opponent just wants to try and beat over your monsters whereas if you if your board is empty so you have to wait for the, your opponent to empty your board and then activate Drowning Mirror Force so I, I'm not 100% sure on that one uh, Call of the Haunted bring back your Wolf Barts bring back your Resonators uh, and try and get a, a combo off Two Fiendish Chains now I know back row is really important for uh, Fire Fist so, I mean, you can always bounce it with Vulcan and get the effect off again. Some people play Breakthrough skill, that's absolutely fine. I just prefer Fiendish Chain because not only does it negate your opponent's event, it stops them attacking, which sometimes you kind of you need to do more than just negate their effects. Uh, 2 Tensu, I know not many people play this one either, but the fact that a 700 boost will stay with your monster even if that card leaves the field is great. Um, and again, it's another target to be popped with Bear or bounce with Vulcan. And I mean your opponent can attack into your monster thinking I can easily beat over this and then straight away you're activating that uh, just to stop them and do some damage. Uh, bottomless Track Pole, Son of Strike and Son of Warning. Again you can boost Strike up if you want. Uh, I've seen some people, not so much in Fire Fist, but I've seen people play free Strike and I just feel it seems a bit too much to have free Strikes in there but I mean sometimes it can can really hurt hurt a player in the in the swing of momentums. Right, so on to the extra deck. I'll go through the main fifteen cards, uh, and then I'll show you some of the alternative cards that I like to play, or that you can try and play and see if you can get a, if you prefer them better or not. Okay, so on to. Onto the main main synchro cards, I suppose, for these. There you go. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, so the main synchro cards are so two fire prints, 
Um, so you can make this with your red resonator and any of your level 4s and then you make it with spirit and leopard or spirit and rooster or even um, spirit and hawk if you want to. Uh, and he's basically the bring him out, special summon level 3 or lower uh, but you can't special summon level 5s or higher for the rest of that turn. So he's your main go-to guy. Uh, one Vulcan. Sometimes I, I wonder if I would like him at two. One seems to be just just enough at the moment, but there are some times when I'm like, oh, Vulcan would be great on this one, and he's just not there. So Vulcan obviously bounces one, one card you control and then bounces one your opponent controls, um, which is quite nice because you can recycle your tankies or your fingers chains and stuff like that. And again, he's made with your Resonators and Wolf Barks or your Spirit and any other card. Uh, okay, on to, so Go Your Guardian, really nice card, stole a Despot Trish uh, with this card and it, uh, it kind of helped me win that game. Obviously he can't be made with Spirit, because Spirit can only make Beast Warrior type monsters, but uh, you make him a Resonator and then any of your level 4s and you just go for it. Um, Armadies, maybe not necessarily needed, but he's just there to be safe, he can be made with your Resonator and then... Um, your hawk, rooster, or leopard. Same with some Sara Dragon of Rebirth, just in case you need a 26 defender, and then obviously when he's destroyed, you can special summon from your opponent's grave or your grave, so it just gives you that recycle. Sorry, uh, recycle of uh, some of your monsters. Uh, the one Leo that I was talking about, so your Resonator, and then two level fours. Uh, Trishula, because if you can fit him into a side deck, why not? So again, Resonator, uh, a level 3 and a level 4. And then Skylight, Red Dragon, Archfiend, um, two level 3s and a Resonator. Or you just put your Resonator on top of one of your level 6s. So it's like, why not? Skylight's a, a really nice um, level 8 card. There you go, so you can see him. So he's a really nice level 8 card. So that's always good. So that's it for the um, Synchro engine. Now onto the Xyz engine. Two Tiger Kings because he's your main Xyz level 4. When you summoned you get to set or set a spell or trap, a fire formation spell or trap, and then you can detach material and negate all face up effect monsters except Beast Warrior type monsters until the end of your opponent's next turn. Uh, Diamond Die Wife Wolf because all of your cards are Beast Warriors or all your normal cards are Beast Warriors so for the first time or in one of the very few decks you can detach and actually pop a different monster rather than pop in Diamond Die itself. Uh, Castell, very generic, great card to have. Two uh, Lion Emperor. I might take one of these out for a Zen Mains. One up Zen Mains. Um, but he seems to, he's done quite well. I mean, you can bring out your fire prince, bring out your rooster, and then get another level three with uh, a second normal summon with your tensu, and then obviously because you can't go into another synchro, you would overlay into Leo and just go for as much damage as you can. Uh, two cardinal, he's not amazing. He is kind of like a Castell for two cards, but it has to be either or. So basically, you return two cards either on your field or in your graveyard, and then you do the exact same to your opponent. So if you bounce two on your field, you bounce two on their field, back to the deck. But if you bounce two from the graveyard, you have to bounce two from their graveyard. And then same applies if you bounce one on your field and one in your grave, you have to bounce one on their field and one in the grave. You can't just bounce two from your grave back to your deck and then two from the field because that would be slightly broken. Uh, so yeah, that's the 15 card extra deck. Um, and then here are some other little cards I'd like to just honourable mention that you could chuck in. Diamond Crag King, just for the beat stick if you need him. Abyss Dweller, side deck for BKs. Uh, Burning Abyss, sorry. Uh, a Gar 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 Cowboy, just to kill games off. Uh, Stardust Charge Warrior. I tried him out. Uh, the draw's nice, but he's just not really strong enough to get past some some monsters. Uh, and then if you need another Beast Warrior card to go into, there's very, very few Beast Warrior synchros out there that Spirit can abuse, but this is pretty much the only other one that you can get away with basically so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the page for us um hopefully we'll be having some more videos coming for you very shortly 
and I'll be looking into other deck builds to show you. I'm still trying to test out as many more that I can. I'm looking forward to testing out Lunar Lights and showing them off. Um, I think one of my friends is looking into the Blue Eyes build, so that would be nice to show off as well uh, and just go through other cars like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And let me know what you think about the deck in the comments below. Uh, again, this is built for fun. It's not built to go up against Pepe's and Cosmos and stuff like that because it's just not the deck that it used to be. Well, it is the deck that it used to be, but the meta is not what it used to be them years back when Firefish used to um, do do really well. So, yeah. Thanks for watching um, and happy dawning.